Hey, welcome to Cutter the Car Guy. I just got my new Everlast plasma cutter here, and we're going to be doing the unboxing. This is the 50S, so it is a pushback start compared to the HF of the P series, which is a high frequency. So uh, let's check this bad boy out. Let's see what we got in the box. Right off the bat, I do like this because all my 220 stuff all matches that exact same plug. So I actually have extension cords and everything. Uh, this looks like this could be the actual whip right here. All right, that is the In the background, that is actually part of my CNC plasma table. You see, and the uh, pushback start is a better design for that. High frequency can have a tendency to mess up on some of the electronics. So, here's the ground, here's a little, uh, this is your 220 to 110 conversion. They actually have a little roller too that you can get for this that uh, helps you kind of roll around when you're making cuts and everything. And all that little stuff, looks like it's got the regulator in the bag. Let's go ahead and just check. And there is actually that's a filter. Now this is actually an adapter right here for your CNC stuff right here, that little blue right there. Now makes me wonder if that's the actual little uh, water separator right there, if it and filter if it um, has an actual regulator on it. So let's go ahead and get it out of the box and see what we got. Now, it does have a strap. This is actually just light enough to where you have to carry it around. And this one's perfect size right here. Um, it's going to fit up underneath the table for the plasma table right there. So, um, and actually, like I was saying, on the back side, I'll show you the back side. Um, this is for the CNC right here. It actually says CNC on it too. That's pretty cool. So, it's pretty much set up ready. Um, this is for your air to come in right here, little circuit breakers. front, just like I thought. It actually has the regulator built completely into it, so that's kind of cool. Now this right here is the timer, so you can actually time your air. Um, this actually got an on-off switch for it too. So that way you can time how long the air blows after you finish your cut to help cool down your consumables, uh, your tip and everything like that. So uh, that's pretty cool. We'll also be doing a video on this being used on the CNC plasma table, so it'll be uh, we'll kind of get a couple videos out of this one. Uh, like I said, we'll do an actual tool review of us using it um, just by itself. We got the tea bucket being built right now, and I need a plasma cutter to make a couple of, um, of the plates up on the front, um, braces, brackets, all sorts of little stuff right here. Um, the plates we're actually going to be cutting with this are made for some bracing in the back of the frame. Um, then we got the brackets we're going to make in the front for the shocks and for the actual uh, headlights. So uh, we've got a few things we're going to be using it for so you'll see it in use on the T-bucket build. And then after that the uh, CNC table will be set up in the shop and you'll actually see how it works as a CNC cutter. Um, I went with this one for the first one 
I don't plan on cutting some super thick stuff, so uh, this right here should do really good. If I have to cut something thicker than what this is rated at, I'll just break out my torch and go from there. But for right now, this is the 50 amp, and it should do everything we've got to do in the shop for, you know, all the little brackets and odds and ends and things I can think of for making and stuff like that. Some of the motor mounts and things, but uh, I mean, none of that stuff's really made out of inch thick stuff anyway. So, this is, it's got a max cut of around 5 eighths, or actually they call it everyday use uh, at 5 eighths. See how it does. Like I said, I've got some brackets that's got to be made. I've got some plates that's got to be cut for the back gusseting of the frame. And um, I'm going to put this thing to use. It's nice looking a little unit though. So that's a close up view of it right there. And uh, it's got all the stuff built in. We will put this to use, and that will be in a separate tool review video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next one. Love 59 videos. Later.